Hello and welcome to UC Today. I'm Senior Editor Tom Wright and today I'm joined by Doug from Crescendo. It's great to have you, Doug. Thanks, Sam. Great to be here. And um, no, I thought maybe just to start off with, it would be good if you could give us an overview of, um, of the Crescendo business, kind of where you come from and where your focuses are at the moment. No, absolutely. So Crescendo is a uh, UCAS player here in the United States based out of uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, you know, we've been selling uh, our uh, UCAS offerings directly to end users through our direct uh, channel and through our partner agent program. And have been really successful in doing that over the last uh, 10 years. Uh, we're publicly held. We're listed on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. And so uh, you know, we've had a lot of uh, nice growth and uh, one of the few profitable uh, UCAS companies out there. So uh, proud of uh, uh, hitting that accomplishment for the last two years running. And uh, I've, I've obviously, the, uh, the, the biggest uh, news that we've got out there is that we just announced our acquisition of NetSapiens, which we'll talk about a little bit more in depth. But we're uh, you know, really excited about where the industry is and really excited about uh, you know, where we're going to take it to the next level. Cool. So you mentioned a couple of things there that I know we're going to go into, kind of the channel and the uh, Net Sapiens acquisition. But if we could start with the acquisition, that's sort of quite a well-known name, quite a big acquisition for you. Could you take us through kind of the rationale and what it brings to the business? Yeah, sure will. So uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, from Crescendo's perspective, Crescendo was growing uh, nicely. We had twenty-one uh, percent growth year over year in uh, in the first quarter of uh, twenty twenty-one. So we've had uh, nice organic growth, but we've been looking for the right uh, acquisition target out there. And uh, we met the uh, NetSapiens team uh, last year at IT Expo uh, back in February of 2020 in, in Fort Lauderdale and uh, really was enamored with the platform. They have a tremendous platform, a great offering, lots of great uh, technology, uh, tremendous engineering organization. And we started taking a look at uh, what their platform had to offer. And uh, that uh, discussion and analysis kind of led into um, you know, potential merger uh, discussions and, uh, and those merger discussions really took off towards the uh, latter part of last year. And we were allowed uh, or, uh, or able to announce the, uh, the acquisition back in uh, March and uh, finally put the uh, final bow on it uh, here on June 1st. I know there were quite, um, you know, a few uh, strings to the bow of that acquisition, if you like, bring quite a few different, um, different ways of route to market to one of them being geographic i think i'm right in saying you've typically focused on the north american market but you get to you get into a few more areas with the next saving acquisition now yeah we really do so uh, you know crescendo's uh, focus uh, prior to the to the acquisition was uh, completely on the us market and uh, with the netsapiens uh, merger uh, now we not only have a predominant uh, uh, presence here in the us but uh, netsapiens also has quite a few resellers in canada um, some of their largest resellers down in Australia and uh, just starting off in the uh, European market. Uh, we actually have uh, a hosted instance now in uh, London and Amsterdam and bringing customers on board in the uh, European market as we speak. So how can we expect to see, um, I suppose, for our leadership, to, uh, the, um, the European and the UK expansion? How can we expect to see you kind of handle that over the coming months? Yeah, that's a great opportunity for us. I mean, if you look at uh, you know our pedigree, uh, you know, the, the folks here at Crescendo, myself and Steve Mahalo, our CEO, and John Britton, our uh, chief revenue officer, you know, we have a lot of experience from our previous uh, relationship. Uh, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the background, but uh, Steve Mahalo is the founder of Intertel and uh, grew Intertel from a one man show to uh, 2,500 employees and, and 500 million in revenue before the sale to Mitel. So I worked with Steve at uh, Intertel for 20 plus years, uh, John Britton uh, uh, for almost as long. and. Uh, John stayed on and ran the UCAS division as the president of the UCAS division for Mitel. And so uh, he's got a lot of great uh, insights into the uh, European market as well. So uh, Intertel had a nice presence over there, did some nice acquisitions over in the uh, European market to uh, to put a nice uh, position there. And obviously with Mitel's stronghold in uh, the UK market, we've got a lot of uh, knowledge there. Uh, Scott Goodwin is our UK uh, representative uh, on the NetSapien side and uh, our VP over there and has done a great job of building the excitement and building the infrastructure there. And so we really see the European market as a tremendous opportunity for growth for us. And you mentioned as well um, at the start of the call that you've typically had a, a direct focus, maybe with, a, I think, an agent model you said um, thrown in there as well. But NetSafe, of course, have quite a solid service provider channel. Did that play any kind of part in, in the acquisition? And can we read into maybe what your plans are in terms of the growth of Crescendo? 
Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, I, I think it really puts us in a really strong position because we're really one of the only UCAS providers out there right now that has kind of all three legs of the stool covered. So uh, if you look at uh, our, our presentation out there, you know, we sell direct and, and we sell through an agent model that's a really a revenue share model on the crescendo side. And then on the Sapien side, the Sapien side sells a facilities based platform and a infrastructure as a service type platform offering. So for resellers out there that want to have a UCAS offering, uh, the facilities-based platform allows them to actually have the uh, NetSapiens platform in their own facilities and, and they're in full control of it. Uh, the infrastructure as a service option uh, was something that NetSapiens introduced last year and has really taken on a lot of traction. So that's for a UCAS provider that maybe doesn't want to go to the initial upfront expense of buying all of the uh, data center hardware required to have a facilities base. Uh, we'll actually provide that as an infrastructure as a service offering. So it really allows us to have three different type offerings for uh, the partner community. So the partners that uh, are looking for a UCAS offering can go with an agent program where they just have a revenue share and they don't have all of the uh, extra responsibilities. They can have the infrastructure as a service offering, which allows them to have uh, the UCAS offering and all of the service and support uh, that comes with it, but they don't have to uh, worry about the, the infrastructure uh, purchase. And then the facilities base if they want to go all in and, and have the facilities uh, based offering. So and that same uh, that same um, three options will be available over in the European market as well. So really excited about what we're going to be bringing to the market over there. I was actually going to be my next question. Um, can we expect to kind of see some of the crescendo technology be available to to customers and partners in Europe where perhaps it wasn't? Or are you going to are you plan to bring the technology sort of together into an offering? Yeah, we really do. So, I mean, you know, the, the, the nice part about this merger is that it's very synergistic, very accretive. So if you look at the uh, the benefits on both sides of the equation, you know, tremendous engineering resources on the Sapien side and on the Crescendo side. So we'll look at uh, merging those two uh, groups together and bringing the best of both worlds. So, uh, you know, feature parity is something that, uh, you know, there were some great uh, solutions on the Sapien side. Uh, Crescendo will bring some uh, additional feature capabilities over there and vice versa. And so as we look at that offering for the uh, European market and for the U.S. market, uh, obviously we'll bring, bring the best of breed to uh, both markets. And um, in terms of future M&A strategy, you've obviously started uh, with, a, with a bang here, but can we expect to see any more kind of activity on that side of things? And if so, what kind of things are you going to be looking at? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, part of our, our growth strategy, uh, absolutely being a publicly held company on the NASDAQ, you know, we've got uh, to look at uh, both organic and inorganic growth. And so organically, uh, you know, Crescendo had, as I said, 21 percent increase year over year in Q1. And at Sapiens had 30 percent uh, increase in revenue from uh, 2019 to 2020. So both organizations are growing organically very nicely. Uh, this acquisition of, of NetSapiens by Crescendo um, is really kind of the first domino for us. So it really allows us to go into a position where for, for the future, uh, the right opportunities will, will hopefully roll right into uh, the organization. So if you look at our previous success at, uh, at Intertel, a lot of the growth that we had at Intertel was through very strategic acquisitions. And so as we look at the uh, NetSapiens uh, infrastructure out there and the community out there, uh, you know, it's a tremendous, tremendous uh, community of resellers out there. But at any given time, if uh, if one of the uh, community members is looking for an exit strategy, you know, hopefully we're the first door that they knock on. So uh, that's obviously part of our acquisition strategy going forward is that, uh, you know, if there's an opportunity for a NetSapiens partner to look for an exit strategy, you know, we want them to know that uh, the Crescendo opportunity is out there to look at. And so obviously from our growth perspective, there's so much opportunity in this industry that we realize that uh, growth organically and inorganically is going to be critical for us. And do you see those acquisitions as kind of being about getting you into to new areas, new geographies, or from a kind of a, a customer-based perspective? Yeah, probably more from a customer-based perspective, because obviously, I mean, from a UCAS offering perspective, uh, you know, Crescendo currently, before the merger, sold uh, coast to coast. Uh, the um, Sapien resellers obviously are selling coast to coast. And so it's not really a geographic uh, play uh, from an acquisition perspective. It's more of a revenue stream and a customer acquisition. Uh, but again, as we look at uh, future growth opportunities, you know, getting into international markets, et cetera, you know, some of those acquisitions may pivot on the fact that uh, it can get us into a new market uh, that we haven't really tapped uh, heavily into. Uh, Canada is a great example. We just signed up a, another reseller up in Canada, so that's a really up and coming market for us. Uh, I mentioned Scott Goodwin earlier, so a lot of the opportunities that we've got over in the European market 
are coming to fruition as we speak. Uh, you know, the amount of opportunities that we're talking to over in that uh, in, in EMEA is really, really strong. And so we're seeing a lot of interest, you know, as, as, as businesses look at alternatives from a Broadsoft platform or a Metaswitch platform, uh, you know, that Sapiens is really the, uh, the, the, the best option out there uh, for those folks that are considering a better solution and, and a less expensive solution. And my final question for you, Doug, you've probably got quite a lot going on at the moment, I'm sure. But um, in terms of kind of the second half of this year, what are your kind of immediate plans and what can we expect to see from you, I suppose, in the short term as you continue the growth? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, our, our second half of the year, hard to believe that it's already, uh, you know, July and we're already talking the second half of the year. Time just flies when you're having fun. But, uh, you know, we obviously uh, have to get the two organizations uh, working together. We've already got a tremendous amount of momentum. Uh, we were just down at the IT Expo down in Miami last week, and uh, I think we really stole the show uh, between NetSapiens and Crescendo. Uh, we had a tremendous amount of activity at the booth, had a tremendous amount of meetings scheduled. Uh, there was actually a really good attendance at the show and, and the amount of excitement around uh, Crescendo and its Sapiens, uh, the buzz was pretty tremendous. And so as we look at uh, the second half of the year, it's really about uh, getting the synergies and getting uh, the two organizations working together. Uh, we already started putting all these measures in place uh, even before the merger was finalized. So uh, management meetings and, and, uh, and progress meetings have been continuing. So uh, obviously the second half of the year is to continue our organic growth. Um, do a great job of integrating the two organizations, and we're already well ahead of uh, our plans there. So I uh, couldn't be more excited that uh, you know one month into this acquisition, you know the momentum is uh, is fantastic, and the uh, synergies between the two management teams and the two organizations is off the charts. Okay, well we're certainly going to be keeping a close eye on how that kind of all develops. Um, Doug, thank you so much for your time today. It's been great to have you. Thanks, Tom. Greatly appreciate it, and I uh, look forward to future conversations. And thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and a share on social media. We'll see you next time.